Hello, Dr. Joe here of the askdrjoe.org and the 2020 Forum.co. So, um, I want you guys to pay special attention to what I'm about to share with you in this very video. Uh, because, you know, I've been testing a theory, if you like. Um, and the theory relates to the narrative from one side of the nutritional divide that claims that consuming carbohydrates uh, you know, is responsible for a lot of uh, metabolic problems, including high cholesterol levels. And, you know, the uh, explanation is that, you know, when you consume carbohydrates, then you, it gets converted to uh, sugar following digestion process. And of course, once the sugar is absorbed, it goes to the liver and then the liver converts the sugar to cholesterol. And that is what's responsible for our problems. So, um, you know, I've been testing this theory by doubling down on eating more carbohydrates. That's what I've been doing because I wanted to find out if consuming carbohydrates will ruin my cholesterol levels, amongst other things, of course. So uh, what you're going to get in this video now is my results. I want to share with you my results, uh, my latest results, uh, if you like. Uh, of my blood lipid profile okay I'm gonna share my blood lipid profile with you guys so um, now I, I should say this the results I expressed in European units so don't worry um, I, I'm gonna do the conversion for you to the units that you're familiar with using an online software that will do the conversion for us so not a problem at all don't panic when you see units you're not familiar with originally i'm going to do the conversion for you as well so um you know without further ado how about we get on with it then okay so um here are my serum lipid results and uh, as you can see there i am the patient uh, joseph amagada that's my name and i've just blotted out some sensitive information um, and to let you know that, you know, the blood was taken recently. Uh, it was taken on the 7th of September, 2023. Our date formatting is a little bit different from the uh, North American one. Um, so um, how about we get started with uh, the serum cholesterol, the total cholesterol. Uh, we're just going to look at a few parameters, okay? Uh, you can scan the whole of it. It's all here for you to see. But... Uh, we're going to convert the important, uh, you know, parameters. So uh, total cholesterol, 3.3. Uh, Let's move on to the online converter to help us out. 3.3 total uh, cholesterol, 3.3, uh, which is 127.6 uh, milligram per deciliter. So 3.3 millimole per liter, I should say. Uh, the equivalent in milligram per deciliter is uh, 128 for argument's sake. So uh, that is the total serum cholesterol, okay? Next, um, let's have a look at something else. Uh, how about we look at the serum LDL cholesterol? Uh, this is the so-called bad cholesterol. And it's important that you uh, take a note of this, okay? Uh, this is very, very important. Uh, the LDL is very, very important as far as I'm concerned. And what is it? Well, we have 1.8 millimole per liter. 1.8 millimole per liter. Let's move on to our online converter. 1.8. Uh, what is it? 69.6. Uh, for argument sake, 70. Okay, 70 milligram per deciliter. That's my total bad cholesterol. The equivalent of 1.8 millimole per liter. Okay. Not bad at all for somebody who eats a lot of carbs. My LDL is good. Um, let's move on. Um, next, we will probably look at HDL. I don't really rate HDL these days um, because it's not as good as, it's not as protective as we once thought it was. So my total HDL for all is worth anyway is 1.2. Uh, let's do the conversion. Uh, 1.2. HDL, uh, what is it? 46.4 uh, milligram per deciliter. So 1.2 millimole per liter, the equivalent is uh, 46.4 milligram per deciliter. That is my HDL, which is supposed to be the good cholesterol, but it's not as good as you know we thought it was before. It's not as protective, but that's what it is anyway. Now, let's move on to one other parameter that I think is very, very important, and that is the serum triglycerides okay the triglycerides so so important 
Uh, and what is mine? Well, my result is 0 0.6 millimole per liter. Okay, 0 0.6 millimole per liter. Um, let's have a look at that. Let's do the conversion. 0 0.6 uh, millimole per liter triglycerides. Uh, the equivalent is 53.14. So, you know, 53 basically um, milligram per deciliter. That's my triglycerides. Now, the other side of the nutritional divide will tell you that if you eat lots of carbs, then you know, they get converted to triglycerides as well. And here we are. Okay, mine is at 0 0.6 millimole per liter. My triglycerides, uh, you know, the equivalent is 53.14 milligram per deciliter. I mean, how cool is that? Okay, how cool is that? Okay, so as you guys can see there, that blood lipid profile looks perfectly normal. Okay, looks perfectly normal. There is nothing abnormal about those results. And uh, it sort of throws water into their theory that carbohydrates consumption uh, will ruin our cholesterol levels and give us diabetes and all the rest of it that they tend to claim. That is not the case here. So you may now be wondering, what do I eat? Well, I'll share with you what I eat. Um, I eat lots of fruits every day, okay? Lots of fruits every day. And if their theory is anything to go by, then the natural sugar in the fruits should get picked up by the liver, get converted to cholesterol straight away. And then of course, my cholesterol levels should be hitting the roof. Well, that is not happening there. I also eat lots of vegetables. Okay, not just that, I also eat lots of grains, practically every day. But I have to say, it's whole grains, okay? Not refined grains. So I eat lots of grains. And if their theory is anything to go by as well, then, you know, the sugar that results from the grains, you get converted by the liver to cholesterol. That is not happening there now, okay? You can see the results for yourself. What else do I eat? Well, I eat legumes. That is to say, I eat beans, I eat peas, and I eat lentils. So, what else? Um, I also eat a little bit of nuts and seeds. I used to eat lots of nuts and seeds, but I've cut down on my nut consumption lately because I want to bring my fat consumption really low. So, I, I don't eat lots of, of nuts now, but I still eat them. Um, uh, not every day, uh, every other day I eat nuts and seeds. So that's essentially what I eat. I'm not stuffing myself with, you know, high protein diet or, you know, um, you know, high greasy diet, you know, high fat that is. I, I'm not doing that. Um, I'm happy with where I am at and uh, that's what I will continue to do uh, because my metabolic profile looks good. So, um, you know, the moral of this very video is that um, you guys should not be scared of carbohydrates, okay? So long as you're eating healthy carbohydrates, not refined carbohydrates, because there's a distinction between the two, okay? There's a distinction between refined carbs uh, and healthy carbs. I want you guys to not be scared of eating healthy carbs. So long as you're eating healthy carbs, you'll be fine. You're not gonna have problems with cholesterol going forward, trust me. Um, so, uh, that's the, uh, the the moral of this very video, and I'm hoping that you got some value from it. If you did, uh, please give the video a thumbs up, please like the video, and also please share this video with your friends, with your family, with your colleagues. And if you've got any questions, any comments regarding the content of this very video presentation, go ahead and leave your comments or questions down below. Guess what? That's it for today's presentation. Until next time, well, this is Dr. Joe signing out.